Day 9 in Wolverhampton, a pair of semi-finals at the Grand Slam, the winners to meet tonight for all the marbles. Would it be screams and scintillating scenes for the Iceman, or could Menser bring the headbutts for some hype? Then we had this guy. Would the world number one be in celebration mode, or would Kirk Bevins be saying, Gary, 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 all to play for today? on High Roller Radio. What a week in Wolverhampton. Great crowds, dynamite darts. Final preparations at the Grand Slam, announced Stuart Pike, with special thanks to a random guy with a vacuum cleaner. Who will be cleaning up today? Here we go, tweeted at Sky Sports Darts. Finals day has arrived in Wolverhampton, and yes, the question is simple. Who wins? Morning, everyone, said Colin Lloyd. Hope you're all enjoying the weekend. It's semi-final and final day, so get that Sunday roast in and get the TV on for the darts. We say hear, hear to that. Look at this tweet from Richie Byrne. Taking a poll on today's winner, who's missing from the list? No Gerwin Price. We see Ando, MVG, and Menser, but where's the Welshman? He's hoping the Iceman melts. Good luck to at Gezi Price today. A different viewpoint here from Andy Powell. A top bloke, he said, to the people who think he's arrogant, you need to meet him in person, would do anything for you. He then added, go and get him, son. Absolute drama in that quarterfinal with Simon Whitlock. A 16-5 thriller. The Wizard squandering multiple match darts. The crowd was on the ice, man, but he gave it some. Roars, headbutts, and and this flexing of the muscles, it was tense but exciting. More thrills and spills today? Well, here's hoping. We were working on our meme game this morning, first asking, muscles or mincer? Who do you like there? And then saying, Grand Slam, thank you, ma'am. It's been a great week, just three matches left. This is one of them. Are you kidding me? A classic tilt here. MVG and Ando, after Mighty Mike beat Johnny Clayton yesterday, he said this of today's encounter. We are the best two players in the world. We are going to have a battle. We mentioned it yesterday, but... But congrats again to at Anastasia Darts, ran the table in Dusseldorf yesterday at the rest of the world women's qualifier for the world championships. She is going back to the alley pally, whitewashing Sylvia Dolores Keller in the final. I'm thrilled, she said, and I'm hoping to do some damage. Who loves the darts? We do. Thanks for all the support, High Rollers. If you haven't subbed to the channel yet, please do. Maybe biased. But we think there's some great content there. All right, these fans are ready in my word. Has that guy got courage or what? A look of a confident dart player right here. Gerwin Price with his walk-on. A wave for the crowd, even though they were on him the other night. Got a few boos today as well. They love this guy. That woman snapping a quick pick. Big fanfare for the Austrian. We look at the odds. Sulovic, the betting favorite, one to two on. Gerwin is priced at eight to five, despite the Welshman leading eight to four in the head to head. We pick it up. Second leg, this triple 14, the tail end of a 162 from Sulovic to leave 32. And yes, he'd pin it, and he liked it too. Both players up for this one. He then fired in this. The contest first maximum. Menser magnificent, but to no avail because Price made good on the 75 checkout. Double six for the big roar. You see Menser in the background. He's not watching. Why? Because he was thinking about this. Another 180 as we look at the early averages. 107 playing 101. This time he utilized it for the break in first blood. 3-2 Menser at the interval. Fine margins in the seventh leg. Price staring down the 167, but would miss the bullseye only barely. Another break for Sulovic and four on the spin. Make that five, collecting his winning darts here at 6-2. Price would hold on double top, and we thank at Live Darts for our next two updates. The Iceman clinical on the 96 checkout for an 11 dart break in 6-4 at the commercials. And then, magnificent as he reeled in the big fish early in the third session, 7-5 at this point, but from there it was Menser Mayhem. He pushed it to 9-5, then broke again on double 18. He took three on the spin, 10-5 advantage, 
confident at the interval. 10 of 13 on his doubles. Why not? That is deadly. Good start out of the commercials for the Welshman. Double three for a break. He's still fighting. Then after holding, fired in a maximum in the 17th leg en route to a clutch 75 finish. Double top under loads of pressure. 10-7 now. Turned to his fans and said, I'm still in this. Then how about this? A last dart double eight for a 76 checkout. A break with Menser sitting on 20. Look at the reaction. He went full out on this one. And we look at the double percentages now. Menser slipping. Once 10 of 13, now 10 of 19. Call it a purple patch for Price. Takes four on the spin to smash the session. Menser with a big deep breath. He did manage to hold for 11-9, but he needs to regroup backstage. Down the home stretch we go. At 12-11 Menser, Price here utilizing double three again to level a look to the heavens, a believer in darting destiny. Then on 68, yes, just two darts needed. And how's this for intensity? Is he fired up or what? We say hello to this guy and the dartboard heads. Sunday fun right there. Ice, ice, baby, steamrolled. He kept the pressure on with darts like these and closed it out in convincing fashion, taking 11 of 13 legs. Wow. Stunning. He's thrilled, emotional. Look at these reactions. A scream for the darting gods. 16-12, your final. All Menser could do was smile in resignation. Earlier on, I had some bad luck. I was beating myself up, Price said. I'm proud of myself. At 12 all, I won my leg, and I thought he was done. I never give up. Wow, talk about heart. He's got it. A berth in the final. He's got that too. 97 average, 9 180s, and that 170 checkout. Crazy comeback as Menser's game dropped off. By the way, the Rock of darts called that first result 16-12 to the T for at Aki Balboa 1 nice job to which we replied bang on our second semi-final pitted this guy Gary Anderson up against Michael Van Gerwen as a fan snaps a pick there great tidbit from Aki Balboa Michael Van Gerwen and Gary Anderson's first meeting was in 2005 he tweeted the BDO British Open last 16 MVG won at 3-2, but how about it? Topping the charts that day, don't ya? by Pussycat Dolls. Better start for Mighty Mike leading 3-1 up a break, but the Flying Scotsman would keep it close. A 1-13 checkout, 3-2 MVG at the first interval. Darts in the top pocket for Ando. Is that concern on his face? Well, eighth leg now. Michael in the madhouse. He'd bust his score, and Gary made good on double six. A little smile. Thumbs up sign as well. He liked that one. He then fired in this one eight en route to his first lead of the match but can you say 11 darter Van Gerwen emphatic as we hit the commercial break tied at 5 well they haven't let us down have they the tweet from at Tom Sports Journal what a game. At 7-6, pressure darts from the world number one. With Anderson on 28, he took out 97 in just two darts. Bang, bang for seven all. But after MVG missed bullseye to break, the Scotsman returned fire. A beautiful 1-12 finish. And look at this, the Ando Roar. Fans loving an enthralling encounter on serve. 8-7 Ando at the interval. Gary's turn to miss bullseye next. Close on the 132, but MVG couldn't punish, and Anderson would first hit double eight, then this double top for three on the spin and 10-7. Look at this scoreline. The Dutchman on 16 after nine darts, and Anderson had a dart at the 140, going 60 tops and almost tops again. It would have been spectacular. Van Gerwen found double eight, and they'd walk off stage with Anderson up a break, leading 11-9, and and MVG with his head down. But he'd strike quickly.
quickly with an 11 dart break of throw and then made it three 11 darters in a row, first hitting this 180, then this double 11 on a stellar 124 checkout. Big, big reaction, 11 apiece now. But fast forward to the 24th leg, MVG squandering five darts at double and he paid the price big time, left muttering to himself back of stage because Ando would break, then check this out. Wow, the 105 finish going 25 tops, tops, the stare, then trying to close out the match. He would on another ton plus checkout, 104 this time for handshake. He just played better. 16-12, your final. Triples were going in, he said. Tops was helping, so it was good. I put him on his toes. Who says I can't hit doubles? Then how about this from three-time world champ John Part said afterwards, it's not ludicrous to think Anderson will be favored at the world championships. Very good point here from Wikipedia. Gone are the days when MVG could average 100, he said, miss a lot of doubles, and bulldoze his way through a tournament. Quick shout out to at Tom Sports Journal again. He called it, had the over on number of legs to doing some great work for Betfair this week, again, at Tom Sports Journal. There they are, your finalists, bragging rights on the line tonight. The story in Wolverhampton on this, the final day of the Grand Slam. The price was right, and autographs for Ando today on High Roller Radio.